Hey everybody, it's Gilly, and I am here with Gilly, and I am also here with Cupid Gilly, and I'm here with, uh, this is labeled uh, Baby Gilly, but I want to I wanna be clear, this is the Gearlock Child, and uh, this is our latest little mini expansion for Too Many Bones, and we want to show it off to you. Now, um, I want to I wanna start by just saying that again, now it looks a lot like Gilly, that's, it says Gilly on the mat. That's going to change for the final version. It will just say the Gearlock Child. Um, and there's no there's no relation here whatsoever. Um, I don't even know how that would work. Um, you know, it's a it's a metaphysical can of worms. We don't want to we don't want to open. Um, Gilly's not married. Doesn't even have a girlfriend. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Anyway, um, point being, uh, we're going to show you how this little mini expansion works. And uh, I'm here to help me help me show this off. I have. Um, I have the Break Keeper on a white chip for no apparent reason. Um, I have a Dragon Elder who's going to sit around and do nothing. Uh, and then I have, uh, from last year's April Fool's Pack, uh, Trolling for Fools, I have Pat right here uh, who's uh, going to show us, uh, help show you how this all works. So, um, so this expansion comes with uh, the Gearlock Child mat, and then it comes with five of these loot cards, and it's going to have a, now obviously these are prototypes, but uh, and then it's going to have a little reference sheet for this. Um, you're going to get five of these cradle loot cards and you are going to shuffle these into your loot deck at the beginning of the game. Uh, now, should you draw one and choose to play it, you would take the Gearlock Child, you would place it in your inventory, it is considered heavy loot, and you would unlock the first skill die. Um, now, again, I mentioned there's five of these uh, loot cards that you shuffle in. If you draw subsequent loot cards, um, and only the player who's carrying the Gearlock Child can uh, can play these, so you'd have to trade um, or search for better loot and what have you to find it. Um, if you play subsequent cards, uh, you can unlock the rest of the Gearlock Child's skill dice until you have all three. Um, and these operate just like skill dice uh, for your character. Um, so you can use them once per battle, uh, and then they exhaust and then you get them back at the end of each battle. So I'm gonna walk you through what they do really, really quickly. Uh, they're pretty basic, but... Uh, so number one, we have uh, Forceful Distraction right here. So if I roll this one, I can lock this, and that's got a two. And basically what would happen, so if the Break Keeper comes at me, I'm sitting here with one health. Cupid Gilly's got one health. The Break Keeper's got six attack and is ranged. That's no big deal. I'll probably survive this. Oh, shoot. Uh, six damage. I only take one damage, and I'm KO'd, but this protects me, and now I am back up to two health. Uh, I'll steal one from the Dragon Elder over here, because I don't have more health chips. So instead of being KO'd, regardless of taking six damage, uh, I only take the one, and then I'm healed back to whatever number I rolled on the uh, Forceful Distraction uh, die. So that's Forceful Distraction die number one. Die number two is Snack Rivets, and this operates a lot like uh, like Bog Frog Legs, the loot, but it's a little bit different in that uh, I roll this, and I can heal for whatever number is displayed here, but then I do take a one poison counter. So, um, so I would obviously place a one poison on myself and then heal myself up for two. I'll take two more from the Dragon Elder. Poor guy. <laughs> what did he do to deserve this? Nothing. Um, and we'll mention that one little trick with this is if you had a two poison counter on yourself, or even maybe a three, by eating the uh, snack ribbits, you could replace that with a one poison counter. Um, so, little life hack for you, ribbit hack. Um, so that is the snack ribbits, and then the third skill dice, uh, skill die is the deflect effect die. So uh, you would roll this, and this is also a locked die that I would place in my locked slot. And then uh, finally, this uh, Dragon Elder gets to act and he decides to weaken me. Uh, what Deflect Effect allows you to do is place an effect die that would have gone on yourself onto a unit that's adjacent to yourself instead. So rather than myself being weakened, I can use my Deflect Effect die and bam, put that, uh, put that on, the, on uh, Pat instead. So what did I do? Did, oh, whoops, wrong effect. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, so uh, yeah, so these uh, these dice are are put in lock slots. Um, so that is, uh, that's basically how the Gearlock Child works. It's not a whole lot more complicated than that, but you cannot drop 
Uh, you cannot drop the Gearlock Child. You must protect it, obviously, uh, because look at how cute it is. Uh, the one other thing I will mention about the artwork on this is um, I was very upset to see in the original artwork <laughs> that the Gearlock Child was holding a little teddy bear. Uh, on the final artwork, which you can probably see on our Kickstarter page, uh, that has been upgraded to a stuffed owl bear, uh, which is a a deep cut from a uh, particular Too Many Bones encounter that some of you might be familiar with. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, we hope that you uh, will take advantage of the limited time $5 off that we've got going for this week and uh, have fun with the Gearlock Child, which again is not Baby Gilly, so stop calling it that. <laughs>